Hey guys, so this was actually supposed to be a tutorial, but for those of you who have YouTube channels and film tutorials, you know a lot can go wrong when you film a tutorial, so I, I had to just give up and delete it, and I tried starting over, and I just couldn't get the the distance right and the angles, and yeah, filming tutorials is a nightmare, and the people who do them well make it look so easy, but there is nothing easy about filming a tutorial. And then if you do manage to film it correctly, then you're going to spend, I don't know, six, seven hours editing it because, well, anyway, <laughs> on to the haul video. So yeah, this turned into a haul video. I got some more new products from Milani and... Like I just said, I tried to film a tutorial with it. That didn't work out right. So instead, it's just going to be another haul video. So if you, you might remember in a recent video, I was talking about challenging yourself. And I thought to myself, well, you know what? If I'm going to challenge myself with these new Milani Bella Eyes eyeshadows, I should go out and get the two hardest colors to work with. Well, the two hardest colors that are available in stores. And that would be Bella Rouge and Bella Teal. So those two colors wouldn't be able to go together in a look, so I had to pick one or the other. So I decided to go with the teal today. So yeah, I just got this yesterday. This is Bella Teal. And a lot of people are afraid of any kind of blue eyeshadow, especially this type of blue. So that's what the teal looks like. And the way I decided to use it is I just put the teal on my eyelids. I used Milani Bella Charcoal, which I had bought from a previous haul. I put that in the crease and that's what that looks like. Oh, what the heck, I'll swatch it again. And that's just what charcoal looks like. So I put that in the crease, and as my highlight color, I used white, Milani Bella Eyes White, which I've already shown this to you before, but seeing as how I'm talking about this look, I like white as a highlight. If I use uh, gray and charcoal, I just think that uh, that combo looks good together. So that's what I did for my look today. And then, like I said, I also bought Bella Rosa and I, I'm sorry, Bella Rouge. And that's what that looks like. And I played around with this last night and the shadows that I used it with, it didn't end up being a good combination, but I figured I would try it. This is kind of like Matte Cranberry. So if you're familiar with that, it's very similar. I don't know that I would say that it's a dupe, but it is very similar. So I need to play with this more and figure out the best way to use it. I actually have an idea, but I don't have the Milani Bell eyes in the color that I think might look good with that. So maybe when I get that eyeshadow, I'll try those together. And then I also got what I'm wearing on my lips. Uh, first of all, I got the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Fuchsia. If you haven't tried these lip liners, you guys, they are amazing. So pigmented, so creamy, don't dry out your lips, last a really long time, um, the perfect base for your lipsticks. So this was the last one that I wanted to get. There's a couple other colors, but I just don't think that I would use them. So that's... Uh, Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in Fuchsia. So I have that on, lined and filled my lips. And then the lipstick that I got to go with that is number 19 Raspberry Rush. And this is a, a true raspberry and it just goes perfect with that Fuchsia lip liner. Yeah, let me swatch that on my hand too so you can see. And this has a metallic finish, this lipstick. So that's what that looks like. Now, will I get any more of the color statement lipsticks? 
I'm not sure. The, you know, I looked at the display yesterday when I bought this raspberry one, and there was one called Plum Rose, but that I liked a lot, but I have so many lipsticks that are just like that, that I don't really feel like I need that one because a lot of my MAC plum lipsticks are similar to that. So I'll probably pass on that. And then there was one or two other colors that I was kind of on the fence about, but the more I looked at them, the more I wasn't really sure. So I think I'm gonna cool it on the Milani Color Statement lipsticks for a while. Um, I really love the ones that I've gotten so far though, just really, really love them. And those, those lip liners are amazing. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it for today. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to tell you. Um, if, if there's something that I forgot, I'll either put an annotation or write something in the description box. And of course, just like I always do, I'll put all the products that I'm wearing in the description box. And I'll see you next time. Bye!